When we look up at the night sky, our eyes are filled with millions of stars that light up the darkness. For most of us, it is simply a beautiful sight. But for others, the question arises, what lies beyond our world? Answering this question has become an increasingly popular scientific field. With the help of a series of sophisticated and advanced technological methods, scientists continue to make significant progress in the search for an answer to one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we really alone in the universe? Recently, a discovery was made dozens of light years from Earth, and its implications are significant. Have scientists really discovered life on the planet K218b? Let's find out. The scientific world has made astronomical advances in the last century. With each passing year, the technological tools available to scientists look more and more like something out of a science fiction novel. One of the most well-known projects, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI, aims to use a variety of techniques in hopes of detecting any signs of an intelligent civilization beyond the borders of our world. This initiative allows researchers to carefully observe electromagnetic radiation over a wide range of frequencies, especially in the microwave spectrum, which many scientists consider to be an extremely promising area when it comes to signs of extraterrestrial life. However, in order to scan the observable universe in the hope of detecting some sign, no matter how small, proper equipment, such as telescopes, is needed. We're not talking about those telescopes you use to watch the stars from your bedroom window. Researchers are using the extremely powerful James Webb Telescope. Costing a staggering $10 billion, it's the most powerful space telescope ever created. It is designed to scan stars using infrared light and is significantly more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope, allowing researchers to study the earliest galaxies and exoplanets. It is this huge but highly sophisticated scientific equipment that has recently detected signs suggesting the presence of life deep within the constellation Leo. A team from Cambridge studying the atmosphere of the exoplanet K218b found signs of molecules that on Earth are only produced by simple organisms. After carefully examining the data, they are struck by the fact that the planet may actually harbor extraterrestrial life. This unexpected twist in the research has sparked a new wave of interest in the scientific community, especially among those involved in the search for life beyond Earth. K2-18b is located about 120 light years from Earth. It has a mass over eight times that of Earth and is two and a half times larger than our home planet. What initially attracted researchers' interest was its orbit, which happens to be in the habitable zone of K218's host star, a cool red dwarf. This unique position suggests that K218b could potentially support liquid water, which is integral to any thriving civilization we know. But that's not all. Several other discoveries by the James Webb Telescope have also caused excitement among scientists. The powerful telescope has also made detailed observations of the exoplanet's atmosphere, and scientists were shocked when they discovered the presence of carbon molecules such as methane and carbon dioxide. A scientific publication from 2023 first mentioned this groundbreaking discovery, and researchers have since provided additional data in follow-up studies that support this claim. As is well known, carbon is the basic building block of all known life forms and plays a crucial role in the formation of complex and stable molecules. Its unique properties allow it to bind easily to itself and to other elements, making it possible to form the long chains and complex structures required for DNA, RNA, proteins, carbohydrates and other important biomolecules. The discovery of these gases has therefore led many scientists to suggest that K218b may possess a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and, very likely, an ocean deep beneath it. But that's not the most interesting part of their findings. After carefully analyzing data collected by the James Webb Telescope, the researchers reported possible signs of a unique compound known as dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, in K218b's atmosphere. On Earth, DMS is produced primarily by marine phytoplankton and other microorganisms. This discovery has opened a new frontier in the search for extraterrestrial life, and researchers look forward to further research. They use the term biosignature when referring to this type of indicator, and according to their data, the concentration of DMS on K218b 
is thousands of times higher than on Earth. The potential for large amounts of dimethyl sulfide on K218b has led some researchers to suggest that this is a Hycean planet. This idea stems from a broader hypothesis that holds that such exoplanets could potentially harbor hydrogen-rich atmospheres and vast oceans of water. The reason scientists think K218b could have a huge ocean is the lack of ammonia in its atmosphere. Their theory suggests that the ammonia has been absorbed by a large body of water, suggesting the presence of deep oceans. If this hypothesis is confirmed, such a planet could be much more conducive to extraterrestrial life than previously thought. If scientists can indeed prove that dimethyl sulfide is present in the quantities previously thought, it would be one of the most significant scientific discoveries ever made. However, there is still much work to be done. The lead researcher, Professor Niku Madhusudan, from the Institute of Astronomy at the University of Cambridge says, This is the strongest evidence yet that life may exist beyond Earth. It's realistic to say we can confirm this signal within one to two years. However, there are too many contingencies and unknowns at this stage of the study, which is why multiple groups in the scientific community are urging caution. Many researchers have pointed out that the detection of dimethyl sulfide could be due to random fluctuations rather than an actual signal. In scientific jargon, for something to be declared a discovery, it must meet the Five Sigma requirement, a level of evidence that virtually rules out error. But the recent discovery of dimethyl sulfide is only considered to be Three Sigma. Even if the research group manages to achieve Five Sigma with future observations, this would not automatically mean that definitive proof of life on the planet K218b has been found, explains Professor Catherine Haymans of the University of Edinburgh and astronomer Royal of Scotland. Even with that degree of certainty, the question remains as to what the origin of this gas is, she explained. On Earth, it is produced by microorganisms in the ocean, but even with perfect data, we can't say for sure that it is of biological origin when it is on an alien planet because there are a lot of strange things going on in the universe and we don't know what other geological processes might be going on there to produce similar molecules. The thing is, life co-evolves with its environment, so if we don't know much about a planet's environment, it's hard to tell if the potential signal for life makes sense. This is hard to understand in the solar system and even harder for exoplanets because we can only access them through remote sensing. While other research groups have proposed alternative and lifeless theories for K218b, the work of the Cambridge researchers led by Professor Madhusudan is full of potential. They recognize the colossal scientific challenges that lie ahead, but their journey could lead to a significant breakthrough in the search for extraterrestrial life. Could this be the turning point? Decades from now, scientists may look back on this moment and realized that it was then that the living universe came within their grasp. But did you know that one of the so-called exoplanets is an exact copy of our planet Earth? For billions of years, life on this planet evolved just like on ours, but at some point, something went wrong. And today, K2155d is one of the most inhospitable planets to inhabit. Could planet Earth repeat the fate of this exoplanet? Watch the video to the left on your screens to find out.